The M8S Pro by Miku is a pretty nice TV box. It brings us the Amalogic S912 as well as 3GB of RAM and 16GB of onboard storage. It's been out about 9 months now and it's done pretty well. Now we have received a pretty cool update and a developer over on FreeTab has taken that update and applied it to a pure Nexus ROM. Now that means that Brat brings us a pure Nexus experience and it's more in line with Google's vision of very few OEM and other Android applications pre-installed on these things. It's a pretty nice ROM and I'm going to show you how to install it on your M8S Pro by Mikul. This cannot be installed onto M8S Pro L, that's a brand new TV box, don't bother doing it on that. This is for the older M8S Pro S912 Miku Android TV box. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to use a USB burning tool to install this firmware. Let's go over to FreakTab now and download the image file and the program that we need. So you'll see here there's the burn package, that's the image file which contains the firmware. As well as that we need USB burning tool which is the program. Next thing we need to do, we need to install USB burning tool onto our Windows computer. And once you've done that we can move on to the next part. So let's load up USB burning tool. Now select the language that you need, so I need English, just here. And let's move over and then select and import the image file. Now that image file is the, literally the image file we've just downloaded from FreakTab. And then the system will start checking the file to make sure it's all okay. Once it's done that, you can now connect your MOTS Pro to your computer. So what you'll need is, you'll need a mail-to-mail -mail USB cable. Make sure it's capable of data transfer as well. So plug one end into your PC or laptop and then grab yourself something thin and sharp because on the bottom of your M8S Pro there is a small little reset button. Hold that in and then apply the other end of the USB cable and put it into the USB slot. Once you've done that on screen it should say connection success and the final thing you need to do is just click start just in the top right of USB burning tool. It should take about three to four minutes to complete the process. Once you've done that, we can go over to the TV now. Let's have a look at this Nexus ROM. Mm -hmm. 